Hello, my name is Light, and this is a simple tune shading tutorial. This model is done by Max. It's pretty done, pretty well done model, and uh, I will teach you a little bit about uh, the shading here. The initial shading looks like this. Uh, the the color is not nice here. You see, you can see bending here. The most obvious one is here. Uh, the ambient occlusion texture and the cast shadow from the lamp. This one, uh, they they don't blend well, and the color is not that nice. But the setup is pretty nice. It is uh, it used some. Uh, Text uh, shading method uh, in games and use only this color and then the outline for this part, this back part, the outline on the surface of the mesh. Then use the, the another texture as uh, this ambient occlusion here uh, to enhance it to actually to make the shading much better. Uh, I do. I did a node setup for it, and then let's see how it is done. Okay, here the node setup is very simple because you are thinking in uh, first in pixel math, second you are thinking the nodes, the node structure in layers. Uh, first, we have the color texture. We take the UV and use the texture. We multiply it. With an uh, with outline, which is you also take the UV, take the texture, the the color texture is like this, the outline is like this, only black and white, and then we you multiply it, and then to solve the ambient uh, the ambient occlusion with uh, the shading part to remove the band, okay, this one already solved. To remove the band, you need to combine shading and the ambient occlusion shade, uh, sh uh, texture, uh, which is uh, combine shading and this texture. Okay, you combine that with multiply, so you can you will not have bending. Then you change the color. Actually, you can use other blend modes. For example, uh, color. Sorry, no, not that. Color mix here. You use it. Put it into the factor part. Okay, let's let's view this. You can use this as one color. Another one is here, so the color will not bend. But the problem is when you want to render this as raster you will have a little bit of a uh, uh, lysing problem uh, if you use very harsh calculation method so using this this color ram is a uh, solve the aliasing problem so let's see the result from here color outline multiply out you have this output which is a shadowless character then you the result of combining shading and the am texture ambient occlusion is <coughs> like this which you, you have black and white then you remap it to color like this and this part is uh, I use HSV node to lower the saturation a little so that it will blend well with uh, multiply uh, because I only use one uh, one parameter which is only red this one is actually red only desaturated red uh, when you mix it back to here when you lessen the saturate lower the saturation when you multiply it back to here it will get a little bit uh, looks uh, more looks better even with uh, this kind of uh, level of uh, color only add multiplying that the result become like this so you remove the bending here you remove the bending here 
uh, and you also remove the bending here okay now there's one limitation with this where you change the light color it will not change it will not change the, the character it's slightly only a little bit of value change but not the the overall character mood or feel to solve that you can actually put some color back here to add to enhance it first you need a mix node uh, change the situation to soft light and you take input data from lamp uh, the sun lamp take the color put it back there and you get this it's a little too bright right now maybe like this so when you change the lamp color you can change the mood as well okay that's it uh, I, there's one more thing you can actually use another, another blend mode which is more harsh it's, uh, we can use overlay it's a little harsh not as not as smooth as uh, soft light uh, not as soft as soft light okay you still can change the lamp color change the hue and change the mood and that's it